All right, so we are ready to start rigging the boat. We are down at the Rhodes 19 dock, looking at one of the boats tied up on the dock, um, and this is the way that it should normally look. Now, the first thing I want us to notice is how the boat is tied up on the dock. So we have the bow line at the very front and the stern line at the back. All right, so when we look at the cleats on the dock, we have white cleats and red cleats. We wanna make sure that we only use the red cleats because if we use the white cleats, the boats run the risk of running into each other, bumping into each other and damaging themselves. So make sure when you're tying up the boat, you only tie the boat up to the red cleats. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the rudder. Christian's gonna step into the boat and pull the rudder out from underneath the cabin of the boat. Um, the rudders on all of our boats should always be stored where he's pulling it out from right now. Now when you pull the rudder out, we're gonna have to rotate the wooden tiller 180 degrees around to the very front of the rudder like he's doing now. Now the goal is gonna be to match up the metal pintles on the rudder to the corresponding gudgeons at the very back of the boat. All right, so now we can start working with our jib. What we're gonna do is take our jib sail, stick it up on the bow of the boat. We're gonna keep the sail wrapped up, but undo the lines from the sail. After we do that, we're gonna set the jib down and unroll it, which will make sure that all the parts of the sail are exactly where we need them to be. So if we look, we have the clue, which is gonna be the back bottom corner of the sail where our jib sheets are attached. In the center of the sail will be the head, the very top of the sail, and then the front bottom corner will be the tack, right where the tack clip is. So the very first thing we're gonna do is work with these two clips right here. Um, there are two metal clips. Um, the bottom one is where we're gonna hook up the tack of the sail, and the top metal clip is actually the halyard that we're gonna hook up to the head. So the first thing we're gonna do is pull the little metal pin on the bottom clip, and that's gonna release the halyard from the top. Now when we do that, we just wanna make sure that someone is holding on to the halyard because if someone were to pull on the other end of the halyard, the halyard, that top clip is gonna to shoot to the top of the mast. So Christian is gonna pull that bottom pin, which will release the halyard, and then we're gonna hook that bottom clip up to the tack of the sail. After we've done that, we're gonna go up the luff of the sail, the front edge of the sail, and we're gonna hook up all of the hanks, those metal clips, we're gonna hook those up to the forestay. Now it's important that when we hook up those hanks, each time we hook one up, we push the sail down. Um, that's gonna prevent the sail from catching any wind and powering the boat up. After we've hooked up all the hanks, the head of the sail will be at the very top, and we can go ahead and attach the halyard clip to the head of the sail. Now we're gonna move back to the clue of the sail where our two jib sheets are. We're gonna untangle them and take each one on the opposite side of the mast. You're gonna take the very end of the jib sheet, feed it through the pulley, the block, then through the fair lead, and then lastly through the cleat. After we do that, we wanna make sure that we do a stopper knot, a figure eight, or a monkey's fist in the very end of that jib sheet. Now we're ready to start rigging the mainsail, so we're gonna bring it onto the bow of the boat and treat it just like the jib. We're gonna keep the sail rolled up, but we're gonna undo the line from the sail. The line on the sail is the outhaul, which is gonna be attached to the clue. What we wanna do is feed the clue of the mainsail, which will be the back bottom corner, as well as the entire foot, the whole bottom edge of the sail, through this gap and through the entirety of the boom. Now the easiest way to figure out what we're gonna feed through the boom first is to find the outhaul. The outhaul is the only piece of line on the whole sail and it's gonna be attached to the clue. So if we find the clue of the sail, we know that that's what we're gonna feed through the boom first. As you're feeding the mainsail down the boom, you're gonna to get to a point where you reach the main sheets. Go ahead and just unwrap those main sheets from the boom and let them fall on the deck of the boat. Once the mainsail is fed into the boom, the first corner we're gonna attach is the tack, which will be the bottom front corner. So we're gonna pull the mainsail up until we get to the tack pin and then slide that tack pin through the tack. Now that the tack of the sail is anchored, we can work with the clue. You're gonna find the outhaul, which is gonna be attached to the clue, find the very end of the line, and then feed it through the block or the pulley at the very back of the boom. 
Once you've fed the out hull through the black, you can pull the out hull tight and secure it to the horn cleat on the boom using a cleat hitch. When we're ready to hoist the sail, the boom is also going to rise up with the sail. We need to make sure that the three lines attached to the boom are totally loose so that when we raise the sail, the boom has no issue rising up. Those three lines are the main sheet, the boom vang, and the downhaul. To release the main sheet, you're going to pop the line out of the cleat and then pull the slack all the way through. It's better to pull more slack through than you think you need. For the boom vang, you're going to pull the line down to release it and then once again pull the slack through. Lastly, for the downhaul, you're just going to go ahead and undo the cleat hitch. Now that the three lines are loose, the boom should have no issue rising up as we hoist the sail. If you remember, our halyards are what we use to hoist our sails. So each sail has a halyard, a jib halyard and a main halyard. All of our boats are going to have the jib halyard on the left hand side and the main halyard on the right. What we need to do now is attach the main halyard to the head of the sail. So if we were to follow our main halyard from the center of the boat, it would then move to the very bottom of the mast, all the way up the mast, and then down to the very back of the boom where Christian is. He's now going to undo the main halyard and move it to the head of the sail. Before we attach the halyard to the head of the sail and start feeding it into the mast, we want to make sure the sail's not twisted. Christian starts at the tack of the sail, running his hand up the entire length of the front of the sail, the luff of the sail, until he reaches the head. If we look at the head of the sail, we can see that similar to the clue, there should be a plastic or a metal slug as well as lines sewn into the sail. That's what we're going to feed into the mast here in a second. Firstly, Christian's going to attach the halyard to the head. What we're going to do now is feed the mainsail into the mast six inches or so. We just want to get it fed and tied off so that it doesn't go anywhere. Christian is pulling on the main halyard to hoist the sail while I feed it into the mast. Once the sail is fed into the mast six inches or so, go ahead and cleat off the main halyard with a cleat hitch. If you remember, all of our boats are going to be tied up with a bow line and a stern line. Before we actually hoist our sail, it's vital that we know where the wind is coming from. So Christian's going to check up at the wind vane, the American flag, or the ripples on the water and figure out where the wind is coming from. Now that we know where the wind is coming from, we can step into the boat and undo the stern line from the very back of the boat. When we undo the stern line of the boat, it's going to allow the boat to rotate away from the dock and face into the no-sail zone. Only when the boat is facing into the no-sail zone do we want to try to hoist our sails. If we keep the boat tied up with the bow and the stern line on the dock and then try to hoist our sails, there's a good chance that it's going to be incredibly difficult and there's also a chance that you may damage your boat or other boats on the dock. Now that the boat is facing into the no-sail zone, we can hoist our mainsail. We want one individual on the bow feeding the mainsail into the mast, while the second individual stands inside the boat and hoists the halyard. It's important when we're hoisting our sail that we hoist it as high as we can, which means one of two things. We either hoist it until the head of our sail is at the very top of the mast, or we hoist it until the gooseneck is as close to this gap as possible without actually popping out. The gap in the mast is located right here. We want to make sure we don't hoist our gooseneck too high because if we do, the entire boom will pop out of the mast. So what I recommend is hoisting until the gooseneck is about halfway in and halfway out of that gap, knowing that when we tighten our downhaul, it'll pull the boom down and away from that gap while still making sure the sail stays as high as possible. And, once again, when we attach our downhaul, we're making sure that we're tying that off with a cleat hitch. Lastly, we can go ahead and retighten our boom vang. Now that our mainsail is totally rigged and ready to go, we can go ahead and hoist our jib. Similarly to our mainsail, we want to make sure that all the lines attached to the jib are loose, which are our two jib sheets. Here and here. 
Now that the jib sheets are loose, we can go ahead and start hoisting on our jib halyard, which will be the halyard in the center of the boat on the left. The jib is generally easier to hoist than the mainsail, and it only takes one person to do it. Just make sure that when you're hoisting the jib, you pull that line as taut as possible. Once the jib is all the way hoisted, you can go ahead and tie off that jib halyard with a cleat hitch. The last thing we want to do before we actually leave to go sail is to make sure we coil both halyards, and after we do that, we can tuck those halyards underneath themselves. This will keep the cabin of the boat clean and tidy.